I need to talk to you about this rear main seal. The rear main seal on the 390 has always been a sticking point for a lot of people. There's two side seals here and there's actually a seal that goes in here. The seal, the, the lip seal that goes in the back, it's important, it's imperative that you make sure that the the lip portion of the seal goes toward the bearing or the oil. And also, they recommend that you offset this seal about three eighths of an inch like that. I will always follow Ford's recommendation on that. So you, you don't want the seal parting line to match up here and here because that, that could cause problems with leakage and so forth. So what I will do, I put my seal in and I measure how far it's protruding up there. I measure the height of that protrusion and then I just lock my measurement in place here so it doesn't move and that way when I put the seal in the block I can do the same thing I can offset it that much and in fact we'll just do that right now the seal that I have in the cap is going to be protruding down into the block here and over here it's going to be up into the cap so we need to offset the seal here and then we're going to just take a measurement and make sure it's the same that way we, we don't have any problems when we put the cap on we'll go down a little more so now what I've done is I have put the seal in so that this side of the seal is protruding up the same distance as this is protruding on this side and so it's, it's actually going to be offset when I put it on so and then the other thing is we have these side seals that go on here. Now I got to talk to you about these as well. What I do on these is I use super glue and it might sound kind of weird but this is a trick I learned a long time ago. So what I'll do is I will take on the side seals and I will just brush super glue in here. Now the super glue is not being put in here to seal anything. Super glue is simply just to hold these things in place. So here's your one of your end seals here, and it's kind of a triangular shaped thing. And what you want to do is you want to put that in there, and you want the seal to be flush with the top of the cap, and you want it to protrude down to the bottom. That way when you torque it, it'll push it back up out of there, but at least you know it's flush to the bottom of the cap. So I just take a little bit of super glue, and I'm going to hold that there for a few seconds and then I will do the same thing on the other side because there's another seal like this on the other side that super glue will does a really nice job of just holding the seal in place so you can get it in without any pro any any problems same thing on the other side I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue in there to hold that in place and that pretty much preps this cap there's a couple more steps that we have to take but We'll get to that here shortly. So just put that in, hold it for a few seconds, and we're good. Now this area in the back of the engine here, you have your, your mating surface of your cap here, your rear cap, and then the mating surface in the block. You always want to put some type of sealer in there. You never want to leave that mating surface to chance because it's a metal to metal seal there and it, it definitely is a, a point of leaking so you want to seal that. I'm going to take our RTV gasket sealer here and what, what I do is I will just simply put it on the cap because I know the, the cap, the mating surface is going down so you want to make sure that you have sealer on that mating surface. Otherwise, you will most certainly have a leak out the back of your engine. And I know we don't want that. Also put it on the bottom of that side seal there and make sure that this is, this whole mating surface here is covered with that sealer. That's really gonna help. It might not be a bad idea to put a little bit on the side here as well. I usually do that. Just a real thin bead on the side where these gaskets are. A little extra insurance. And then at that point, of course, we need to put our bearing in and we can install our cap. Here, and also, you don't want to touch the face of this bearing with your finger if you can help it. 
the the acid in your finger could cause a spot the oil re is repelled from. So we just want to very gently install our bearing. And we are ready to put that cap on. So put your bolts in. You can use your bolts as guides. And then you just very gently want to kind of work this cap in here. You got to get these seals started. The nice thing about having the super glue on there is it, it, it really helps us hold those, those side gaskets in place. It should go on fairly easy. It doesn't really, you know, you really shouldn't have to force this in here. Your, your bolts are contacting those bolt holes. I always like to take and use the bolts to kind of evenly pull that cap down. Seems like it works out pretty good. So you can see I've got both of my bolts started there. And so, you know, it doesn't take much. You can actually pull this down in there by hand evenly. You don't even need a ratchet for this. So you'll notice that the side gaskets now have kind of started to push up out of there because they were protruding out the bottom and, and that's normal. Alright guys, now that you got that flush, the next step is Feld Pro has these pins that come with it. The pin is pointed and the pin needs to go on the inside of this cap and you need just like a small hammer or something to pound this in with. So it's pointed on the end and if you just take your hammer and just kind of get that started tapped in there, the pin what it does is it tightens that seal up and it really gives us a, a sure fire, fire seal there. So I want to put this right inside. Don't put it outside the seal, put it on the inside. And that pushes the seal out against the side here. Now you want to kind of be careful tapping these in. Go slow, be gentle, don't, don't get crazy beating on these because you could bend these pins and then you got a real problem. You got to pull it out and start over with a new rear, rear main set. Okay, so we've got the pins in. That's pretty much the what they look like when you're finished. You can see the seals out here. We tap the pin all the way down. The pins actually push those out. So, and also your crankshaft should turn real easy after that. It turns turns nice and easy. Haven't torqued the cap yet, but if you follow those instructions, you'll have pretty good luck with these seals not leaking.